The Colorado Supreme Court has ruled that former President Donald Trump is not eligible to be on that state's Republican primary ballot. The reason that his eligibility is in doubt at all stems from Section 3 of the 14th Amendment called the Insurrection Clause, which says people who have taken an oath to support the Constitution as officers of the United States and then subsequently engage in an insurrection are ineligible to hold future office. It appears to be written in relatively plain English, but some of the terms have some special legal meanings. A key threshold question in the case is whether January 6th, 2021, the attack on the Capitol and the events leading up to that constitute an insurrection at all. Because of course, if for whatever reason, those events weren't an insurrection, then Section 3 of the 14th Amendment doesn't even apply. We're going to walk down and I'll be there with you to the Capitol. Interestingly, in Trump's brief, he doesn't really dispute that the attack on the Capitol was indeed an insurrection. What he mainly disputes is whether he actually engaged in it. Another uh, really important but somewhat technical argument is what it means to be a, quote, officer of the United States. Trump responds, and he's supported by some scholars on the right, who say that the presidency is not an officer of the United States at all. What Trump would say is that officers of the United States are appointed officers, Secretary of State, Secretary of Defense, people like that. And so whether or not he engaged in insurrection, he's not the sort of insurrectionist who's covered by the plain text of the 14th Amendment. Trump has another argument, um, which is that this is not an issue for the courts to decide at all. What, what Trump has said is that this provision of the Constitution isn't self-executing. That essentially means it just applies automatically. But what Trump says is that this clause is different. Courts can't enforce it unless Congress intervenes and passes a specific law and essentially says such and such person is an insurrectionist and we invoke 14th Amendment to disqualify that person from the ballot. We are here today to authoritatively express that President Trump did not commit an insurrection uh, and we believe Congress has a unique role in making that declaration. Both sides in the case are asking the U.S. Supreme Court not just to issue a ruling about Colorado specifically, but to clarify whether Trump really is disqualified from running for president again.